you guys were sitting in. Miss Chelsea, do you remember the very first event that we met at? And you were a sapphire, and I was like, oh my goodness. And, and uh, Mr. Jordan was introducing me to you, and you were like, come on, girl, let's get there. Let's keep going. Or, and I wasn't even ranked at that point. I was sitting in a front seat right where Mrs. Mr. Marcus Padilla is, and my eyes were like this the whole time. And I'm taking notes, and I'm excited. And in that amount of time, because I was engaged, right. because I took notes, what was my point here? No. Oh, dude, don't apologize for no-shows. Because I was sitting in a million-dollar seat, that's why we are where we are today. Right. That's why our team is where they are today. So think about that. The people who are supposed to be here, they're supposed to be here. Right. Can everyone agree yes or yes? Yes. Edify the speaker by talking about their past, present, and future. I went over that. Edification. For all those people who are our new family members, like we like to call them, not reps. We're new family members in this room. Who does not know, and it's okay, you can raise your hand. Who does not know what edification is? Raise your hand if you're new. Edification. Okay. So, so for the couple people that raised your hand, edification simply means lifting somebody up. I want to make sure I, I explain this correctly because, like I was talking about earlier, if there's not somebody of value that you're introducing your prospect to, they may think it's just a regular individual, right? If I say, hey, this is Marcus. He's really great. He's a good friend of mine. Your, your prospects can be like, okay, I know what you did during college. People associate with the same people, so he probably did the same thing. He's probably not even that good a person, right? <laughs> You're a great person, Mr. Um, but that point to say, we need to make sure that we're edifying him. We're lifting him up. Oh, my gosh, Mr. Marcus and Ashley Padilla, they're top-performing diamonds in the company. But really what that means for you is that they've helped produce a lot of sapphires, rubies, pearls, jades, all the way up the, the, the ranking scale. And they put their team first. They're amazing individuals. They lead from the front. I have a lot of respect for this individual. I want to get you to talk to him, right? Does that, does that make sense for everyone who didn't know what education was? Okay. Sit through the presentation and take notes. If you look at all the top leaders, they have notepads. Everyone in the front has notepads. If you don't have a notepad, get out your phone. Record. Don't text. But what happens if your phone fails you, you guys? Get back to the basics. Get a good old notepad and a pen. Because Jim Rohn says, do not trust your memory. Never trust your memory. There's some things that Mr. Jordan says. I know that when, you, when he was talking earlier, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. I'm writing down the things that he says because it's hard to remember these things on a whim. But how great would it be if we could remember the fundamentals that we learned in this room while talking to a prospect? Yes? Yeah. All right. Don't interrupt the speaker and sort guests after a presentation. I have a story for you guys. I told this story last time, so for those of you who already heard this story, still act like it's funny. Okay, so I was at a presentation in San Antonio, and what sort the guests after a presentation means is your A's, B's, and C's. Everyone follow? A's all in, B's blah, 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 blah. Maybe they're blah, 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 And then the third one is C, or maybe they just need to save up the money, it's okay. And then um, a C, which is I can't see myself doing this. So there's three types of people, right? So after the presentation, you get with the group of guests that you brought, and you say, hey, so are you guys an A, B, or C? If they say they're an A, perfect. If they say they're a B, great. If they say they're a C, nice. What we need to do is we need to sort them into groups of here's our Cs, here's our Bs, here's our As, or maybe if there's just one of each, you say, okay, I'll get, I'm going to get right to you. I'm going to talk to this individual right here about because they want to go ahead and get started. So back to my story. I was in San Antonio. There was a, a, a personal sponsor of mine who brought two guests, okay? And one of the guests afterwards said, I'm an A. I'm all in. I'm ready to go. I want to get started. And I was just kind of engaging with him. And then the other guy was like, yeah, I'd like to try the product first. You know, I don't really know if I can believe in it. The testimonies were great, but I think I need to try the product first. And I have some questions about compensation. You know all those questions that everyone asks? Is everyone following me? Oh, yeah. And I'm like, all right, perfect. I understand that you have those questions. What I'm going to do is since uh, timing and placement is so valuable, I'm going to go ahead and get Justin started. I'm going to walk him over here, and I'll be right back with you. Okay? So I go over here, and I sit down with Justin, and I'm starting to sign him up, and I'm, I'm telling him a little bit about um, what's going to happen when we do his launch, and the other guy comes around the corner, and he's like, 
Yeah, um, I think I want to get, I think I want to get started too, right now. I think I want to get started too. I'm like, are you kidding me? So if we source, if we sort these, um, uh, the A's, B's, and C's, people are going to eventually be like, okay, wait a second, they're taking advantage? Maybe I should. Right? It's just the law of one person following the other, right? Right. So, so our guest after presentation, and like Mr. Jordan was saying, there's a half dozen things that make 80% of the difference. Jim Rohn says that. If you don't have that written down, there's a half dozen things that make 80% of the difference. This is the half dozen things. I think it's more than six, but it's a half dozen in my mind, right? <laughs> so we can pay attention to these few simple steps. Every single person in this room can be up on, straight, on stage training about it in six months. Right. Who wants to be up on stage training yeah. about it? Woo! I'm nothing special. I'm really a regular individual. I just followed these simple steps, copied the right cat, as Miss Seaver likes to say, and really followed the leader. And that's how you guys can get here. So that's all that I have, I'm pretty sure. Yes. 